Hey, it's Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm talking with Gegard Mousasi, who will be facing Alexander Gustafsson at UFC on Fuel TV 9 in the main event. And uh, uh, Gegard, the last time I spoke to you, it was right before your last Strike Force fight with Mike Kyle, which you won. How, how did you feel about your performance in that one? Well, everything worked uh, fine. Uh, the game plan was uh, to take him down and uh, put pressure on him stand up. And uh, so I'm very uh, pleased with that fight. Well, very nice. And I know that you had spoken about saying you were newly motivated for that and you had been training differently. Do you feel that, you know, everything that you put together in camp showed in that fight? Uh, for sure, yeah. I was more confident. Uh, um, also for this fight, I did uh, basically the same. Uh, I added some uh, coaches and uh, so I think um, uh, I trained more professional. Yeah. yeah, what kind of challenges specifically do you think that Alexander presents for somebody like you? Well, you know, his, his boxing is good, but, um, you know, uh, everyone talks about his reach, but uh, I don't see that being an issue. And uh, I'm confident that uh, uh, even, uh, I'm confident that the uh, range won't be an issue. And uh, his reach isn't that much uh, bigger than mine. It's uh, just a little bit. Do you think he can take a punch? Uh, I think so, yeah. I don't know. I've never uh, seen it. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. Did you? Well, I know when you first were coming over to the UFC, you mentioned uh, Shogun or Lyoto or Alexander or somebody you'd like to face. So what did, what did you think? Did you watch Alexander and Shogun's fight? Yeah, I've seen the last fight. Uh, you know, he fought smart. And um, he did what he needed to do to win. So, yeah, he's but, improved. But were you impressed with that? I mean, it's sometimes when I feel like people say he did what he needed to do, you weren't that. Maybe sometimes mean you weren't like that impressed with that we fought, or were you? Uh, no, you know, I think he's a good fighter. But uh, yeah. mm, you know, I'm confident that I'm uh, I can beat him. Well, obviously, in this, he's got the home field advantage. I actually went to Sweden last year for his fight with Thiago Silva. And it, it, you know, it was fun. It was great. It was the first time there was a fight in Sweden. And obviously, he's, he's the, the, you know, the national hero there. So how do you feel about, you know, not only being the underdog in the fight, but going into e enemy territory? I don't have any issues uh, fighting in Sweden. I've been uh, fighting always uh, different places. Uh, I don't think about it. Uh, you know, he will his, have some home advantage, but also some, you know, maybe more pressure. And uh, for me, I just have to fly less. Uh, <laughs> so don't have a lot of jet lag and yeah. stuff like that. So, you know, but uh, those are small things. And uh, I just concentrate on the fight. I don't think about the, where I'm fighting. Well, certainly you have that advantage of having been an, an international star fighting in other organizations, whereas a lot of guys who've only fought in the U.S., you know, maybe haven't had that international exposure. So you have that going for you. Yeah, I have, uh, you know, I've fought always outside of Holland, and uh, so it's not going to be any issue. It's not going to be any different than, uh, than the rest of my fights. Right. Well, let's talk about what the fight means because, you know, everybody's always trying to find out who's the next contender, who's next in line for a title shot. And, you know, before Dana had said that Alexander was in the mix and then it looked like maybe Lyoto would get it after beating Dan. And I'm just curious how you feel about where this could position you if you get a victory because it sounds like if Alexander gets a victory, you know, he's he's up there in the in the top of the line. But if you win, you get a pat on the back. <laughs> well, you know, he's fighting uh, a long, uh, long time in UFC. So he's on a good winning streak. Uh, maybe they need to see me more in the UFC before they give me a title shot. I, I'm fine with that. Um, uh, you know, it, it doesn't bother me. I, you know, I have to fight anyway, all these names. Uh, so sooner or later I have to fight them so that's my I'm gonna with the belt or without the belt you have to fight them you know but of course the goal is to get the belt but I think uh, getting the momentum to the belt is also good for me yeah well, well that's what I was gonna say is even though you have fought all around the world you do need to make a little bit of a point of establishing yourself in the UFC here so is there any 
I'm no, not you. you've said you've changed some things in your camp, but I mean, is there anything that you that you feel like you need to prove, or that you know there's a certain thing that you want to show, you know, UFC fans that you have that that to to get them familiar with you? Well, I, every fight I have to prove myself, you know, and um, somehow with me, I have to prove myself more than other fighters, I believe. But uh, you know, that's just fine and. Uh, it's the it's my first UFC fight, so it's it's a big deal. Right, right. Well, you know it's interesting too if you poke around um, online. I don't know how much you read about yourself or you know how much you read of your fans and and your detractors. But one thing that you're I, I've read some of your fans. I mean, I love Gadar Musasi. Sometimes he's inconsistent, and that is that you know that drives me crazy. So how, so how do you feel when you hear that? Because you've admitted yourself that sometimes you've been up and sometimes you've been down. Mm, well, I don't read. Um, in the past, I would read, but like sometimes I visit forums. Mm -hmm. But when I see something about myself, I usually don't read it. Oh, really? Because, yeah, because usually I don't know who's on the other side, yeah. and uh, people uh, sometimes are stupid. So I don't want to listen to that. Only sometimes. <laughs> There are things that I've read in there, and I, I know you're saying them because you, it's almost like if you start to read it, you can kind of get sucked in, and then you're just reading this nonsense, and it's and it's crazy. But every now and then, somebody makes a salient point. But uh, but I feel like you know you already do have a lot of fans, and I feel like there's a lot of people already rooting for you. I mean, have you felt that support, though, going into this? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, with Twitter and Facebook, uh, you know, of course, but that's people that like me. Right. So... <laughs> Uh, on other pages, I don't read them. <laughs> yeah. Well, and which one is your real Twitter? Because somebody, I think, likes you so much that they've made one where they're pretending to be you, right? Uh, well, mine is Twitter underscore MMA something. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you don't even know, but that's fine. Yeah. No, you know, I, I, I do have to ask, you know, since we're talking about people kind of having some fun with you, and even your own management posted this. Do you remember, did you see that graphic? And it had like six or nine pictures of you, and it said, Gegard happy, Gegard sad, Gegard disappointed, Gegard mad. And you had the same expression for every single picture? Yeah, I've seen that, uh, but uh, I think they did that with Fedor. So, I, yeah, yeah. it was a little bit uh, the same. <laughs> But it, it was kind of funny. I, yeah, I had to laugh a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, lately I found some pictures. They made me like a French guy yeah. and yeah. Uh, they photoshopped me like Napoleon or uh, Mr. Bean. So, But that's funny, you know. But uh, yeah, but sometimes you also see some other fighters when they, uh, they've lost, they got right. knocked right. out. They still photoshop those pictures also. But right. that's right. less funny. Yeah. But, uh, yes, it is. Yeah, but, but uh, you know, I don't mind. As right. long as, uh, it's good. It's, no, you should mind when they're ignoring you. That means there's a problem. Once they're talking about you, it's all good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, and it looks like you have a little bit of the battle beard going on. Is that is that is that right? You're going to keep that for the fight? Uh, no, I just had it uh, this week. Uh, maybe shave it. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I got to say, you have a pretty good look because whatever the lighting is coming through, you're kind of getting this kind of angelic halo effect. And with the fur, it's it's working I, for you right now. It's a good look. <laughs> Thank you. I'm in McDonald's. So oh, that's McDonald's. what. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So, uh, no, I mean, I'm in uh, weight. I don't need to do weight cutting. Maybe five pounds. Yeah. So. But McDonald's I, isn't really the healthiest choice. Are you seriously eating there right now? Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, um, I just finished uh, training, yeah. so I feel like the hard part is over, so I'm rewarding myself. All right, that's yes. an interesting <laughs> reward. Hey, speaking of training, I know before um, Stefan Struve's last fight, you were training with him. Did you did you see him when he came home, and do you have any updates on how he's doing with his jaw? Because that was just brutal. Well, I, I spoke to him. He's doing well. Yeah. He's recovering, and uh, he's coming also to Sweden. So uh, they're going to support me there. All. So uh, I'm happy to hear that he's doing well. Yeah. yeah, very nice, very nice. All right, well, uh, is it a McDonald's play place, or are you going to go climb through the tubes with the kids too? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> After this, I'm going to go home. It's my uh, father's birthday. Oh, very some. nice. 
Very yeah. nice. Well, listen, we missed you the last time you were in Glendale, but uh, I, you know that the, if you're if you're back, let us know. And uh, I'm going to be anchoring the weigh-in show, so I'll use some of this insight you just gave me and use that on fuel. And I'm really looking forward to your fight with Alexander. So thanks for taking the time to talk to me, and best of luck. Thank you. No problem. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.